All right, Brock Day Howard, Brock Day Howard Shy, Brock Day Howard, Brock Day Howard Shy, Howard Law of Oxen Howard Shy, by Town Kakadash, Double Honor for the Elder Apostle of Great Miracle, Ruwell, and Spirit Fight Taking the Oxen, I put them in truth, across the four corners of the earth, to the fear and power of Howard by Town Shy, the hope for let, and who the world inwardly called God is named Howard, and who the world inwardly called to Christ named Howard Shy, or the Hebrew Israelite, that since this to the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian, and those who line descendants go back to one of the control tribe of Israel due to the scattering of the nation. Alright, that's the article that I was hitting in the group chat today. It's uh, endtimeheadline.org. Alright, the article. Check the title out. It said War, Pestilences, Pestilence, and Famine Set to Grip the Final Month. Of 2022, okay. Uh, prophecy right there, man. Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13. All right, second Andrew 15, 15. The the these are the time that we're heading to. All right. Prophecies, prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. All right, just there's a bit of um. The whole side, the fear of prophecy. All right, so let's read it. It said, "Enjoy this summer while you can, because global event will soon escalate to an even more alarming level." Needless to say, if 2022 ended right now, it will be remembered for a lot of really bad things. Prior to this year, we didn't have a war in Ukraine. Nobody was talking about monkeypox. Inflation was relatively minor concern. Food riots weren't erupting in poor countries, and we weren't facing the prospect of a very painful recession. So much has happened in the last six months, right? Because we're now we're in July. And that's about to be over. But I have a real I have a feeling that the next six months are going to be even crazier. And he absolutely right. Alright? The thing that is going on now, it's true. I thought the scripture said these are just the beginning of sorrow, which the, uh, the, the beginning of, of the birth pain, all right, of the woman's belly, all right, with the child, of nine months, and she about to deliver that baby. So that's the time that we're coming into right now, okay? That's a pretty, so you can read the rest of it yourself. All right, so we, we know what time it is. All right, that's why we have property watching and telling you for years. All right, that these things were going to happen before they happen. All right, and now these things are coming to pass, and guess what? Now the, the property are, are showing us stuff. All right, to be, to be true. Okay, now look at Matthew 24. All right, read up. All right, all these things are happening right before your house try to come back. 24 and 6, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right, now, you look up the great word from rumors report. All right. All right, and World War Three is imminent. Okay, see that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? So these things have to happen. All right, um, in order for your house try to return, okay? These things must take place for nations shall rise against nations. All right, you got all the United States, all right, Russia, you got the NATO, the EU, you got China, all right, you got the, the Brit nation, all right, all these Brit against the NATO. It's a property, okay? You get kingdom and there shall be famine, all right? We'll, we'll just read them on this article. War, pestilence, and famine, all right? And it's a property right here. It's the, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes and I've heard places. All these are the beginning of sorrow, all right? And like I quoted earlier, all right? In the NLP, not 24 eight there, but all this on the first of the birth pain with more to come, see? So this is just the, just the beginning. All right, you think something's bad now, 
nah. All right, the trip thing it could be like a time never before. All right, and then after that, it, uh, uh, that would never happen again. All right, the time that's about to happen like never before is it, it, very very soon. Okay, so we're in that beginning of the bird beginning stages of the bird pain right now. All right. I can run through these different, you know, verses. Do that. Mark 13. Alright. Pretty much saying a similar thing. This is uh, verse Mark 13 and 7. And we shall hear a war and rumors of war. Be ye not troubled, for such thing must need be. But the end shall not be yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be earthquake and diverse places and there shall be famine and trouble these are the beginning of thorough see so I show you that this is uh, uh this is really gonna happen all right and, we, and we're seeing it okay and that's why we're telling you we're warning you for you to take heed all right, but only the elect will take heed to them. Okay, Luke 21. All right. And nine. Yeah, but when you ch shall hear a word and commotion, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nature shall rise against nature. And kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine, and pestilences, and purple sight, and great signs shall be from heaven. Alright, see? The same similar thing as well. Alright? So these things are going to take place. Alright? It's the time that we're heading into. Okay? Second Andrew 15 and 1. The whole feet down in the ears of my people, the word of prophecy, right? And we, we were telling you the prophecy that your house shine, who was disciple 2,000 years ago. Hey, family, pestilences, war, all these things are going to happen before I come back. All right? And guess what? Now, now they're here. Okay? Which I will put in thy mouth, which is why we're a prophet, we're telling you things to happen, where it happened. They the Lord and called them to be written in paper, and that's why we have the Holy Bible, the scripture. For they are faithful and true. Why? Right? Because you know, I was trying to hear men, they shall not lie. Alright? This word shall not come back into him void. Alright? But he think it is going to happen. Alright? It's taking place right for us. Okay? For they are faithful and true. See that? It will show you that these things are, are faithful and true. Alright? Whether you believe it or not. Okay? Second Andrew, all right, 15. And 14, behold, the plague are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. All right. We go down, verse 17. War is me, war is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of thorough and great mourning, right? Because we read Matthew 24, what it said, what? These are the beginning of thorough. All right, the beginning of thorough and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. All right, because come with famine, a lot of people are going to die. Also getting gunned down the street. All right, contract the camp. The beginning of war and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evil, bad time. What shall I do when these evils shall come? 
The whole family and plan tribulation and anguish are sent as origin for amendment, right? Remember, uh, instrument of uh, uh, correction. Okay. It said, but all these things they shall not turn from the wickedness, nor be my, always mindful of the story, right? Because we read in um, Second Corinthians 15 and um, 4, it said, for all the unfaithful shall die in our luxury three. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity and then trouble thee, right? Those that don't believe. That people get this, that's what people get the property, like, oh, that ain't gonna happen in my lifetime, or that ain't true, that ain't real. Well, they're gonna die, all right? It doesn't matter if you believe or not, don't believe. These property still gonna take place. Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plague upon the world, the score, famine, death, and destruction. See that? So we go back to 2nd and 15, and. 18, all right, uh, eight, 19, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for the for amendment. All right, right, uh, uh, instrument to uh, correct them. But for all these things, they shall not turn away, turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right, so you people not mindful of the famine, the pestilence, not realize those that come to the Lord to correct you and get right. All right, so you'll be, be consumed by the plague that he sent upon the earth. All right, then you won't be consumed by his wrath. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish the famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall destroy the sword the sword. See that? So a lot of people die by the way of famine. Okay. The last verse. Second Corinthians nine. If they answer me then, he after me then and said, "Measure thou the sign diligently in itself, and when thou see a part of the sign path, which I, which I have told thee before, right? Because like this article like this, article like this, we're seeing part of the sign path." All right, and that's why we're able to link it with the scripture. And look, we tell you this is in the scripture, this is prophecy, and this was written a thousand years ago. And look, now we're approaching the time for the prophecy to uh, 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 manifest, all right, to come to pass. Okay, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time for in the highest will begin to visit the world which you may, right? A vision is a place, okay, and you go to. Uh, Luke 21 and and 7 and they asked him saying Master but we shall these things be and what signs will there be when those when these things shall come to pass alright let me do 24 though let's say it in a different way Matthew 24 and 3 and as he sat upon the mountain always the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be? When shall be the sign that I come in end of the end of the world? All right, and then that's why you see it read. The answer that told them all the things that could happen. It was all we just read earlier the famine, the pestilence, the earthquake, and when was the war? All right, which is the article talking about. Okay. Now back in 2nd Edges 9 and 2, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time. We're in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquake and uproar of the people in the world, and we're seeing that. All right, all these different countries, the, the, the government collapse, people protesting, um, uh, the president fleeing the country, okay? Then shall thou will understand that the most high fake of those things from the day that were before thee, even from the beginning, and all that is contained in the scripture that we're reading from. All right, the Holy Bible. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, right? Because this uh, uh, the manifestation of what we call Edom, kingdom going down with the so-called white man. All right, second Edom chapter 6 that Esau is the end of the world, the so-called white man, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. 
all right, with the so-called Negro Latino Native American, we have an everlasting kingdom, world without end. Okay, let's take it in mind and 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 five for like all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even though the time, also the highest, have plain beginning and wonder and powerful work in ending and affecting time. All right. So, hey, these are the time that we're coming in property. All right. So this is all in the Bible. War, technically, and family, technically, the final moment, the final month of 242. All right. And I gave you some of the scripture preached up to, to support the uh, article. All right, right on point. With that, hopefully it's edifying to clarify how much I try. With that, Tawadi Yahweh, Tawadi Yahweh Shai, Tawadi Yahweh, Tawadi Yahweh Shai. Shalom.